Hello there, just a, an update for those of you who are helping us and following us and praying praying for us and for the boys we're trying to get out of Ukraine and also some of their sisters and mums. Um, you may have heard on the news that Ivano Frankivsk, just getting used to these names, uh, was bombed during the night last night, but we've five or six boys from Ivano Frankivsk and they're all safe and they're going to be making their way to um, Krakow. Uh, we've got a safe house organized um, and they'll be staying there until a flight um, out of Krakow on Tuesday next week once they've had a chance to have a rest and get some new clothes and things like that. These are boys who don't necessarily come from ivano Frankivsk. all of them. Some of them are fled from Kiev, but some of them live in ivano Frankivsk. Uh, we have a few boys from Rivna, which is maybe four or five hours from ivano Frankivsk, also in the west of Ukraine. Uh, Rivna is now being bombed, was being, being bombed this morning. Um, the air, air raid has, has just stopped in the last hour or so. Um, and so those boys, we hope they will be okay to start their journey uh, to Poland um, tomorrow, where they go to the safe house, and then they, they, they'll be coming here either on Tuesday or Wednesday, but once they get to Krakow, they're, they're fine, once they're over the border. Uh, with one poor boy in Kherson, who's uh, in a, he's in a cellar <laughs> with not much internet, uh, we're just waiting to see if there's a corridor opened up for him to get out of the city there because they're still fighting and it's uh, it's it's basically under Russian control now. But there's a humanitarian corridor that may be opened up perhaps next Wednesday. We've lost touch with some boys who were on their way out uh, with relatives. Um, one one boy particularly from Vinnytsia. Volodymyr, we're a bit worried about him because we haven't got any news, we don't know where he is. Um, and uh, we're expecting over the course of Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, about 30 boys and a few mums and sisters. And although we originally said we'd take 20, we're, 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 we're looking now at 50 or 60 people in total um, of whom... Um, 45 to 50 boys so please keep us in your prayers some of these boys are very young uh, 11 and 12 uh, most of them are aged 13 and 14 um, and also there are there are there, there are little brothers and sisters as well who are younger um, uh, it's a very difficult time for everybody and uh, as, as I've said before uh, I know people have different political opinions about what's going on here but um, I think we can forget the politics, but not forget the children. So that's our motto here. We're opening our doors for them, and we're we're trying to get them out of the country. We're doing whatever we can to help them. We've got a nice network working together now. Uh, the lady who's organising things for us, who fled Kiev um, about a week ago now, she has had the same clothes all week. <laughs> but she's just washing them in the sink. Um, her son who left his, their apartment with just his laptop and is in the same situation. So it's, it's a des desperate, desperate situation. I had a call, um, a message now from a teacher, just uh, who, who some of her pupils in Kiev, she's lost a couple of her pupils who thinks they're dead. And uh, one boy who's autistic is making his way out of the town to the west of Ukraine on his own. Uh, age 15 and uh, he's disappeared nobody knows where he is but um, so um, things seem to be getting getting worse but um, we're continuing to, to respond to um, requests for help from, from different people and and um, for some reason they seem to have slowed down now um, you know we've, we've got a, a flurry of interest uh, two or three days ago and now it's slowing down, which is why we think that uh, probably fifty or sixty is the number we we you know we're we're looking at. Um, and um, here we go. We've got another boy who's making his way to to us through Slovakia. He's in Slovakia now, so he's safe. And um, also some boys who are coming through Romania, they're safe too. And we we guess that all of them will be here by you know, these ones that we know about. 
right this time. Okay. Keep them all in your prayers. Keep us in your prayers. God bless. Thank you.